Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film for you my February makeup rehab update. I'm going to try and make this a little bit shorter by really just focusing on the figures and kind of the things that I'm sort of realising and stuff. I'm going to actually film a separate like February products that I've used up video because I used quite a lot of products and talking about them in this video would just take up far too much time. I did say in my last video with my January update that like going forward I was going to try and include the products in the videos. Yeah, I thought I would have used less in February than I did. I think going forward I will be able to incorporate that into the update videos but at the moment I'm still getting through quite a lot so I'm going to do a separate February empties video and you can go there for kind of full reviews. If you're more interested in like snapshot quick reviews do make sure to follow me on my Rose Keats MUR Instagram because that's where I'm kind of putting up on a sort of daily basis, this is what I've used today, this is what I thought of it, this is what it was worth towards Reverse Rouge and this is my running total. So for anyone who's really interested, that's probably the best place to get updates as they're happening. So in the month of February I used up $540.24 worth of beauty products. That was split out, I used $24.03 worth of hair care, $451.61 worth of skincare and $64.60 worth of makeup. Just actually, as a side note, I keep getting questions from people asking me why I'm talking about things in dollars. What I'm doing is the Reverse Rouge Challenge. It's called Reverse Rouge because it's about reversing your Sephora VIB Rouge status, so it's an American challenge. I didn't make this up. It is on Reddit. There is a communal spreadsheet that you update on Reddit. That is where the challenges run if you want to join in with it. It's not my challenge. So the communal spreadsheet that's on Reddit gets updated in dollars. So when I made my inventory, I made made it in dollars. I looked up the dollar prices of things. So that is why it's in dollars. I think it's a complete lack of respect for the person that spent the time creating the challenge and updating that spreadsheet and like doing all the work that's associated with running a challenge of that size on Reddit. I think it's really disrespectful if I turn around and change it into something else. Um, so that's why it's in dollars because it's an American challenge and it's it's not me, it's the Reddit challenge. I didn't make it up, I don't run it, I'm just participating in it. So I'm making videos and telling you guys about how I'm doing with it, but the challenge itself was run on Reddit um, by an American person. You could if you wanted to do it, just do the pounds, do the prices as they are in pounds if you really want to do it that way and then when you're uploading to the spreadsheet just put the pounds amount in and you'll know you're talking about pounds even if everyone else is talking about dollars. But the other thing with that is that a pound and a dollar are not equal. So using up a thousand dollars worth of product is not the same as using up a thousand pounds worth of product. Also, things are frequently cheaper in dollars than they are in pounds, um, so it makes you actually use up more. I feel like as well it's actually a better representation of the value of the product you've used, because in the UK our prices include taxes, in the US prices are not for taxes, therefore the amount that the actual product itself is worth. That is why I'm doing it in dollars. I hope that clears it up. I'm sorry if that wasn't like clear to start with, I just thought because it was called Reverse Rouge it would be really obvious it was an American challenge, but obviously not, and it's, it's not my challenge as well, maybe I didn't make that clear enough, it's on Reddit, there's a community spreadsheet. Yeah, that's why it's in dollars, so people keep asking me, that's why. So to get back to it, so this month I used $540.24 worth of product, in January I used $766.18 worth of product, which means that my total product used for the last two months is $1,306.42, which means I have used over a thousand dollars worth of product which means I have achieved reverse rouge status already so I'm really really excited about that. However the flip side of that you guys know I'm doing my no buy so that's still actually totally fine I've not broken that at all and I'm not struggling I'm actually starting to get slightly worried about how much I'm not struggling with it I think I'm still just so disgusted at the amounts that I've spent about what my thing is worth and also about the fact that I still have things to film to add on and that's starting to give me like real like oh my god how much do I need to add on here because last month I added on $140.84 worth of product this month I added on $367.28 worth of product that was mainly from my Sephora haul that you guys saw and the thing is I actually when I was making my inventory if there was things that I remembered that I bought I added them in at the time um, or if there was things that I kind of knew the price of offhand or saw them on a website or whatever, I just added them on. Um, so I didn't even have to add on that full haul. 
that was just some of it. The only things that are on there that were not from that haul, I added on Animori Pacifica Eye Gel, which I'm actually going to be pairing in March, so you guys will see that. It's a 5ml sample. And then I also added on three eyeshadows, which you will see when I do my Ulta haul. Um, the reason I added three on, there were three of the Stila Glitter and Glow ones. Two were full size, which I was just adding on, um, and one was a mini one that I had to add on because I was figuring out the value of it because it's in my March, March minis project pan that I'm starting and because I was working out the value of that somebody as well asked me like how you calculate it and I was like oh I just use a spreadsheet and I don't know actually now if maybe what they were asking is how do you work out the value of mini so basically that the prime example is the eyeshadows I was like you look at the price for the full price and then you look at your mini and you look at the size so if something is say say something's $40 and it's 200 mils and your mini is 50 mils, you would divide your 40 dollars by 200 to find out what one mil would equal, then you would times it by 50 and you would know that a 50 mil sample of a product that for 200 mils retails for 40 dollars is worth 10 dollars. So I hope that makes sense. So because I was working that out and I had to work out or I had to look up the original values on Sephora of the full size ones to be able to work out the mini ones, I thought I'll just add on these while I'm here because it's it's two less things that I need to add on in future hauls once I've filmed them. So yeah, because the adding on, I think that's why I'm not struggling with the no buy is because I've got so much still to add on. I have still used more than I've added, but this month I added on $367.28 worth of product. And the other thing is the way that this breaks down. Skincare I added $95.06 on, but in skincare I used up $451.61. That's how the skincare broke down. So skincare, when I first started this at the start of the year, my skincare stash was worth $10,535.22. It's now worth $9,569.33. However, skincare is the only one that's gone down. Hair care and makeup have both increased. Hair care at the start was worth $1,926.82. It's now worth $1,970.92. So I know it's not a huge increase, but it's increasing. And that's... I know I'm not spending money and I know I am making an active effort to use products so I know I'm on the right track but I'm seeing that increase overall although the total is going down because it's like the combined total that I'm looking at that is increasing. The only thing I'm hoping with hair care is that say I wash my hair twice a week I'll use a different shampoo both times or you know I'll be switching about and I'll maybe use a mask instead of a conditioner and I switch through my hair care products quite a lot so what that can mean is that it maybe takes me a really long time to finish hair care but then I maybe finish quite a few things in a short space of time because they all sort of come to an end in a very like short space of time basically that's what I'm hoping will happen like there's also the ele an element with hair care where I just kind of hate doing my hair um, so like generally if I'm ever on like it is on or group on and there's like vouchers for blow dries I will get them like I will I would rather pay somebody else to wash and blow dry my hair for me than do it myself I hate doing my hair I love having long hair because I like it when it's done but it is a pain in the neck so I need to stop doing as many blow dries and stuff to be honest but I also need to start using styling products more it's not even the blow dries I don't think they're the problem because I do wash my hair maybe like twice a week or like three times within a fortnight but I quite often wash it and then just stick it off on top of my head and let it air dry and then like I curl it the next day like that's what I've done I, I washed this let it air dry not last night but the night before and then today I've just like used my curling tong I have actually used some of the Orbe texturizing spray and some hairspray and it today purely because I was having this realization whilst I was updating my spreadsheets this morning for February and I was like Right, need to start using more hair products. But yeah, like generally I wouldn't have bothered using either of those products if I hadn't been doing this and wasn't aware of it. So hair care is on the up, but so is makeup. Makeup is my worst thing. So makeup at the start was worth $16,506.45. So makeup was my biggest one. In January, I used $70.21 worth of makeup, but I added in $45.68. But that actually went down in January because I used more than I added. But in February, I used $64.60 worth of makeup and I added in $212.62 worth. The new total is $16,629.94. I'm adding more than I'm using 
for makeup so that's that's really not ideal um, what I'm hoping with makeup is it's maybe slightly like hair care where maybe I'll run out of quite a lot of things like maybe I'll run out of like foundation, concealer and powder, well not run out of but it will finish like a foundation, concealer and powder around the same kind of time and with makeup I have a lot less minis and a lot less samples, it is more full sized items that I have whereas skincare I've been working through really quickly because I had so many samples of things that I used especially in January um, and then in February I, I used quite a lot of full sized items but they were things that I'd had open for a while and I'd been rotating through so with like a month of concentrating on them they went like within a month. Yeah skincare I'm not really worried about because I think I just need to keep working through that the way I'm working through it but makeup and hair care are slightly concerning for me at the moment so because they're on the up although it's overall on the down because those two individual categories are on the up that I think is maybe why I'm not bothered about spending like I'm not tempted to break my nail by because I'm just a bit like uh -huh, I'm trying to help this but I'm just watching it go up and it's money I've already spent this product I've already bought so I'm not buying any more so I'm not making it worse but like the problem itself sort of still seems to be coming worse does that make sense I hope that makes sense anyway that is where we are so for March what I'm doing is a little sort of mini project pan called March minis and I pulled this little bag of minis together now bearing in mind these are all minis if I use all these up I will have used nearly $300 worth of product and this is I think where it's really scary is that it doesn't look like much but it, it just adds up so quickly and I think that's the other thing that's scary is like I've used up all that stuff because I've used over a thousand dollars and it doesn't really look like anything's gone um, you know it, it's easier than I think you'd think it is to use up like a large like monetary value of product but anyway I will quickly go through the minis that I'm concentrating on skincare wise I've got two like makeup removers so so this one is the Clinique take the day off so this is just about half full at the moment anyway so I think I should easily finish that and then if I do finish that I've got the Dermalogica Pre Cleanse Balm. I really like both of these. I would repurchase either of them. I've got my SK2 Facial Essence, the mini size here, which I feel ridiculous putting in because I tried to use that up in February and I didn't quite make it, but it's definitely going to be finished probably within the first couple of days of March. So yeah, I feel a bit silly putting it in, but it felt a bit silly not to put it in because it is one that I know I will use in March. So um, that's my essence. Also from Dermalogica I've got the special cleansing gel. This dries me out a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of it and I wouldn't repurchase it but I will finish it up so I've got that as my cleanser. This is the Amore Pacifica eye treatment gel that I was talking about that I added in this month so or added in last month now going forward in February so I'm hoping in March to just take that straight back out. I'm going to use up this little deluxe sample of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair um, I know I can use this really easily, I think it's about a week's worth that's in it. I know that I love this, it's great, I've got the full size, I will continue to repurchase it. I've got two masks to use up, the Elmis Papaya Enzyme Peel which I love. Um, I've actually got two of these, I'm only putting one in the project but I do have two and I really really like them but it's a prime example, I have two of these and I've got them both open. I'm working from them both. What is that all about? So I'm just going to concentrate on this one, try and get one finished and then I've also got a little mini here of the Sizzly black rose cream mask which I absolutely love if you are looking to really spend on a product and get yourself something really indulgent this mask is great I've got the full size I will continue to buy it it is worth every penny so those are my two masks then the last two things I've got that are under the skincare category and as far as my spreadsheets are concerned um the Kiehl's creme decor smoothing oil to foam body cleanser I hate this it smells like marzipan I really just want it to be done um, I kind of know I could probably use it quite easily if I concentrated on it but I avoid it because I hate the smell. It's about half full so we'll try and finish that up this month. And then this little sample of the Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming perfume which I don't usually like floral scents but I do actually really like this one. It's in one of those silly like dropper things, I don't like that, I do like a spray. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and finish them up. Again, I added that one in because it was in my Sephora haul, I showed you guys it is as part of the point perk. So I'd like to just take it straight back out. Hair care, I haven't put that much in, but I do have this little mini Kiehl's Sunflower Colour Preserving Shampoo, which is again about half full, so I hope I'll be able to use that. Then I've got this dry bar, dry conditioner, which I don't really feel this is something I need for my hair so I wouldn't go purchase it but I, I enjoy it and I'll use it up. And then the Herbae Dry Texturising Spray which I think is absolutely rubbish. It does, I can see it when I first put it in my hair but it just falls 
like literally within 10 minutes it is such a waste of a product for me i would actually just put it straight in the bin but it was expensive um and it's worth i think 22 dollars to my reverse rouge so um i'm just gonna finish it up even though i think it's pointless and i don't like it and i definitely wouldn't spend the money on it i think like for a main project pan you need to use products that you at least like if not love because you need to not become totally fed up with using them but I think that's quite like what I've been doing has been doing many project bands. I did one in January, did one in February, I'm doing one in March, I'm planning to do one in April and like you can take products you don't like as much because it's a shorter space of time and just be like you're going to be gone soon and that's you know it's like oh whereas if you get a full size thing that you don't like using you put in a project pan to use it over a large space of time I think that can get a bit demotivating so I wouldn't do that with a main project pan but with like a mini one like I'll put in products that I don't like just to get rid of them. For makeup items because I am quite concerned about how that category is increasing instead of decreasing. Get quite a few that I've pulled, well I say quite a few, it's not like a huge amount but like I've tried to concentrate on pulling a few more makeup items out rather than just being heavily skincare. So primers wise I've got the Cover FX Flooding Primer and the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I really like both of these um, I'm definitely tempted to buy the Cover FX full size once my spending man is over and once, and once I've used up other products. I am potentially interested in the green primer because I'm using my green corrector as part of my main project pan and I actually really like it but it is just that extra step and I'm kind of interested in like maybe getting like a green primer and sort of combining those steps but I would definitely buy this one I think this is a great primer and I would happily take this one as well full size. I've got two of the Lancome Tinted Doll Ultra Wears. These are both in the shade 005 which is a touch too dark for me but I think I can get away with it. From Kiehl's this is technically skincare but I've classified it as cosmetic and um, it's an SPF 30 eye cream but it's got like it's got a cover to it cover it's got a colour to it you guys can see so it does act kind of like a concealer so I'm going to try and finish that up this month as well I've got another one of those minis as well so if I finish the first one quickly I might pull in a second one but we'll see you don't need a lot of it. I've got a Benefit Benetton this is like a little mini one it looks really far done but a little bit of this goes such a long way that I think it will still take me quite a long time to finish that little bit I'm not even convinced I'll finish it within the month but if I don't if I get some good weight out of it it should finish early into next month I think. And then for eyes this is the Stila Kitten Karma Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow eyeshadow the little mini one that I was saying that I added in um, and then I've also got a Lancome Hypnos Mascara. So that is the 21 products that are in my March Minis project pan. What I'll do is insert a screenshot of my spreadsheet so that you guys can see how that kind of breaks down and like how much each category is worth and how much each product is worth if you're like really interested in that. That is the update for February so I'm still feeling positive overall. It's still in the right direction overall. It's just like I'm very aware that makeup has been a huge like place that I've spent loads of money but I'm not finishing products I'm not working through makeup the same way that I'm working through skincare those are my lessons is that I need to work through my hair care and my makeup makeup is the main problem so that's what I need to really make sure I'm working through a bit more and make sure that when my no buy is over I'm still buying in a kind of considered way but yeah thank you very much for watching this one I know it's been a bit long and a bit rambly I say if you're interested in seeing the individual products that made up my February totals I'm going to film a separate February empties video. I'm sorry if I sounded really wheezy in this video, it's, it's snowing outside, it's like like everything is shut, schools are off, everyone's off work, it's like really bad and it's really cold um, and I do have asthma which it's not bad generally but when it's cold it, it flares up a lot so I'm sorry if I've sounded <laughs> like that for a lot of the video. Um, I just, if you guys who have asthma will know I feel like none of my breaths are going like deeper than like here. Like I feel like I, bleh. anyway. So yeah. Sorry if I sounded like Darth Vader basically is what I'm saying. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.